So fans, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another quick action figure unboxing and review. And today, well, <laughs> we're going to be quickly covering. Just got this in the mail. So but yeah, new, the new Flameborn Rodan from Haya Toys from Godzilla King of the Monsters coming up right now. And hope you guys enjoy the show. All right, guys, quiet on set. Scene one, take one. Action. Boom. Now, if you guys like this video, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you share with your friends and also hit that bell for notifications because, well, it helps the channel a lot. And if you're new here, welcome, sit down, relax, and enjoy the show. Oh, let's just not waste any time now. <laughs> just gonna show off the box a bit here. Yeah, boy. No, I missed out on the first run of the original Rodan figure because I am just not a fan of bendy wire wings. Well, at the time, I, but I heard that the bendy wires are some of the better bendy wires here. So, yeah, I missed out. And also, I think mm, at first, I kind of thought that the original figure was a little inaccurate color wise. But then again, looking back, it is pretty accurate. But hey, just got a repaint and some ability, more articul articulate joints and also has this new UV <laughs> paint on it. So let's get on to the unboxing. All right. Taking it off the box, guys. Ooh, oh wow. <laughs> nice, nice, look at that. And I even heard that it's got a new and improved stand. <laughs> wow, taking off the box and holy crap, he big. Okay, he a bit bigger than I thought, so look at that. Look at that. Let me move my ring light for a bit to make it brighter. Get a good look at the wings, a pink job. I actually think he's pretty screen accurate here. Because this is how I saw him more. That's how I mostly remember him. Aside from, you know, being molted lava and everything like that with a bit of red and orange around. But yeah, no, this is like, this is how I remember him mostly throughout the movie. That's so let's just take a look at the articulation here. He's a bit stiff here. So yeah, <laughs> bit of, uh, ooh, okay. Ball joint here. Already, like we got some Feet action here, claws. Look at that. Look up and down and see if I can get the mouth to open. Yes, look at that. Looks awesome and bendy wires. I'm not gonna do the bendy wires and all that stuff, but yeah, but you can pose them like doing the barrel roll, just like in the movie. So it comes with two extra piece of plastic. Comes with the stand here. Nice claw for the stand, as I like to call it. And the base itself. I believe the smaller pieces I've just shown right now, I think these are for like different poses. So but yeah, I'm gonna keep these in the box here, but I will try to assemble it, assemble this for you guys. I did it right <laughs> and it should you should rest Rodan in between here on the belly I think I haven't seen much unboxings of this guy well yeah there you go at least this is a more secure one than well the <laughs> than the NECA one I have the neck one but I've yet to put, take it out of the box I know I'm not doing this right so this is my first time trying to mess with around with things so <laughs> yeah but all right, now let's get on to one of the things I, one of the reasons why I purchased this dude. I got a UV light here. Wow, wow, this looks great. Sorry, I had to double check here. <laughs> let's see if I can take it in the showcasing. All right, I try to put it on a stand. Oh crap, all right, try to put him on a stand, but I couldn't, still working on that thing. But you know what, with this, look at that, UV light. Mm, oh my god this is awesome and i might have once i turned it on guys holy crap i might have noticed some more here yeah look at that i don't know if the, ca if the camera can capture it so i'm actually getting wild right now here look at that there's some right here if you guys can see look at that tip of the ass i'm just kidding tip of the tail 
hopefully it's, I'm not too harsh on this thing. Let's see all that, UV light. That is awesome, guys. Woo! <laughs> wow. Yep, one of the main reasons why I bought this. Man. All right, so with that, all right, so with that, we're gonna do a little bit of size comparison. All right, so right here, I have my seven inch 2019 Godzilla from Godzilla King of the Monsters next to Rodan, Flameborn, my GVK Kong, and last but certainly not least, my six inch 1962 NECA figure. It's all right, all right, all right. <laughs> now let's get back and I'll just give my verdict. All right, so with that, what would I give this figure? Well, you know what? Fuck it, why not? I'll give this a 10 out of 10. You know what? Because Haya keeps killing it, and you know what? Nice to have a, I would say, yeah, screen, I would say screen accurate Rodan. Finally, I'm just glad I got a, a Rodan figure that's just more screen accurate, you know? Just good wingspan and scale with my other Haya figures. And just, you know, the UV and also making it look like he's actually born out of flame and all this stuff. I like that he looks normal right now, but once you shine a UV light on him, goddamn, does he, is he on fire, man? I just, I love this figure, man. Ooh, guys, Haya, keep, keep killing it, man. So yeah, that is my quick unboxing and review of the Haya Toys Rodan 2019 Flameborn figure from Haya, from, from Godzilla King of the Monsters. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you guys so much for watching my video. So let me know down in the comment section down below. Have you guys purchased this figure? Have, do you guys have the original figure? Which one you think is better? What you guys think of it, of the new figure? What you guys think overall of the new figure? I would love to know. Please let me know down in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your opinions on it. This is Javi from Hollywood Productions signing off and I hope you guys enjoyed the show.